here in the System and German Academy. We will teach you in the classroom. We will teach, we will you, will teach you home. We will home. find, we will you, find you, you in Zoom. Weather, Actual, weather, virtual, virtual, virtual. Math life, math life. Go on, go on. Are you Are really ready, 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 System and German Academy Season 2 live show? It's time, it's time to invite time. your friends and your family. Come and participate in our math online class and have a chance to win big prizes. You will also you learn, learn how to learn solve, how math, to solve problems math problems easily. easily. Because here it's in here, Assistant in and German and Academy, Academy, Math Live, math live. Go, on, go, on, go on. Good morning! We are live from Toronto, Canada. My name is Hector German. And welcome to Assistant and German Academy Season 2, Episode 2. Let's welcome my co-host now for today, no other than Teacher Anne. Hi, this is Anneli the Guru Tolentino. Welcome to our Academy Year 2. Today is our second enrichment live session for middle and elementary students. Yes, our collaborator uh, for today will discuss multiplication and division of fraction. And as we mentioned last Saturday, we will have a live quiz B to culminate the chapter discussed during our live show. So those who are interested, you can participate to win prizes. Just send us a private message to reserve your spots. Okay, winner will receive 1,500 pesos. Second will receive 750 pesos. Third will receive 500 pesos. For the rest who join us, we'll also receive a gift from us. Our live audience can also participate by answering the problems after its presentation later. That's right, Teacher Anne. And of course, behind the scene is one of our collaborators home you know so well. He is no other than, of course, Sir Reagan Genicio, who will help us record the names of those who got the correct answers. Every correct answer is one entry to qualify for the raffle draw. There will be draws during the show, and two winners will be given 500 pesos each. To qualify, you must have a share badge. And to do this, all you need to do is to share this live stream in public so that you'll have your share badge. So you'll see under your screen, uh, scrolling text on how you'll be able to get your share badge. Okay, before we proceed further, let us acknowledge our early viewers for the day. And the first one, first. Wow, Madam Duba, teacher, huh? Yes, uh, Ate Nelia uh, Tolentino Javero from Emerald uh, uh, Curtains and the uh, Oh, uh, you ano nila eh, the, the business is actually on curtains and everything, sofa and everything. And also, Isa Muang. We have Judith and Aguila. And yes, we have Mercy Tolentino. Yes, and Tolentino. yes Tolentino. 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 Who is going to be today? Surprise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and of course, Mr. G, you want to say something about this scholarship? And also, Christian J. Valdez is right now. Okay. Yes, so thank you, thank you so much for watching. Keep sharing this uh, live stream sa para mas marami pa tayong uh, viewers and also marami ring maging uh, participants sa ating raffle draw later on. But teacher already mentioned about scholarship. This will be our big announcement and the biggest uh, project of the Academy page. We are launching a scholarship program sponsored by the Susan and German Academy page. And we have now one recipient for this year. And we are happy and so excited to announce our first ever recipient of the Academy Scholarship Program, Teacher Anne. Do the honor. Yes, no other than we, it was our first presenter actually last week. Yes. And she is in grade 11 in Universidad de Santa Isabel in Naga City, Camarines Sur. Oh. No other than Judilyn Aguila. She is Congratulations, Miss Judilyn Aguila. So Miss Judilyn Aguila, just like what Miss uh, Teacher Ann uh, said, was our first presenter in season two last Saturday. She will be our first recipient of our scholarship program. 
So Judeline will receive a miscellaneous fee from us. We'll be taking charge of the miscellaneous fee and some of her books uh, allowances. So di ba, Teacher Anne? It's because Judeline Aguila is already a scholar in her school with 100% free tuition. That's why we decided to take charge of the miscellaneous. Kung ano mang miscellaneous, meron si Miss Judeline Aguila sa school niya. The Assistant and German Academy will shoulder all these expenses. Plus, the books allowance, di ba, Teacher Anne? Yes, and of course, some uh, incidental expenses monthly, right? Yes, tama ka dyan, Teacher Anne. May monthly personal allowance pa siya. Mm -hmm. So, keep supporting the Assistant and German Academy page. Dahil ang pangarap po namin, mas dumami, mas dumami pa yung mga scholars. Namin. And recipients, yes. Okay? That's right. We are working right now, one, another recipient in the college, taking mm -hmm. major in mathematics, so... Anong tawag nila doon? Bachelor of Secondary Education? Uh, uh, major. Uh, uh, yeah, major in Mathematics. Okay, so we are working on it. So, mm -hmm. keep supporting us. And how to support us, Teacher An? Simple lang. Manood lang kayo ng live stream natin. Manood yeah. lang kayo ng mga videos namin. And mm -hmm. keep sharing those videos. And of course, if you want, pwede rin kayong mag-message sa amin. If you want to directly financially donate to our cost, especially to this scholarship, so just message us and we'll be getting in touch with you on how you will be able to collaborate with us. So, yes, young, Mr. G, before yes. you are going to introduce our collaborator for today, uh, let us say, uh, say hi to Mr. Ro Rolanda Assistant first. Yes, of, of course. course. The CEO yeah. of the Season in German Academy. So, hindi lang sa natin mga kasama because busy, busy sang masyado for this mm -hmm. next few months. But for sure, later on, uh, he will be back with us doing this live uh, program. But anyway, teacher, are we ready? Yes, we are ready. Uh, yes, wow. last Saturday, our online presenter, as we have mentioned, was Judeline Aguila, grade 11 student from the Demersedad de Santa Isabel, Naga City. And of course, for today, may I present to you one of our quizzers from season one, a multi-awarded uh, person, especially in terms of math olympiads. Mm -hmm. Pag sinabing math olympiad, itanong nyo tong pangalan na to, kilalang kilala to. Mm -hmm. So he just recently graduated from Quezon Science High School, Lucena City. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome now Mr. Charles Dwight Pilaes. Hi, Charles. Bati ka muna. Go ahead, Charles. Uh, Nakamute ka pa, Charles. There you go. Uh, go ahead. Good morning, Sir German and Miss Anna. And good evening po sa mga Pinoy na nanonood dyan ngayon. So, I am Charles Dwight Pilaes, a grade 12 graduate at Kesson Science High School. And I am currently being one of the contributors for this academy. So for today, I will discuss the second episode of this series, which is fractions, specifically multiplication and division. Wait. Multiplying and div dividing fractions is easier than adding and subtracting. Doing this is simply just like playing with the integers as well. Multiplying fractions require you at most three steps. If the two factors are not mixed numbers, we will only do two steps. First step, multiply the terms on the numerator and place it as the numerator of the answer. So as we can see, we have the given here, which is 3 fifths, then the other factor is 7 eighths. All we have to do is to multiply the numerators, 3 and 7, so we have 3 times 7 as the numerator. 
So this is basically the first step. Then, you will do the same for the denominator. However, you will place it on the denominator part of the result. So we have the denominators 5 and 8, which results in 5 times 8, just like the one shown on the presentation. Now, for the second step, we will evaluate the resulting expression. Then we will simplify if it is necessary. Looking, for, looking at 3 times 7 and 5 times 8, it appears that there are no common factors. There are no multiples of 3 below, nor multiples of 7. And for the numerator, for the denominator, there are no multiples of 5 or multiples of 8 or 2. This means that we cannot simplify any further. And so we will proceed with multiplying them. 3 times 7 is 21 and 5 times 8 is 40. This is our answer to our multiplication problem. Easy, isn't it? So, just knowing how to multiply integers will easily aid you in multiplying fractions. If you know how to, if you know what to do, then you can easily find the answer. For example, this case. However, if the given contains mixed numbers, we require an extra step, just like this problem. 3 and 2 thirds times 1 and 8 over 11. As we can see, there are mixed numbers. There is 3 and 2 thirds, which we need to convert into improper fractions. And 1 and 8 over 11 as well. They are mixed fractions, which means that we need to convert them first into improper fractions. How do we do that? Consider these two conversions, which are shown below. 3 and 2 thirds, as you can see, the denominator 3 is multiplied to 3. So we have 3 times 3. Then, the numerator of the proper fraction, 2, is added to the result. So 3 times 3 times 2, uh, plus 2 rather, will give you 11 over 3. And now, this is already an improper fraction, 11 over 3. Similarly, we have 1 and 8 over 11. This gives us 1 times 11 <laughs> plus 8, which is 19 over 11. And now, we have converted them into improper fractions. 11 over 3 times 19 over 11. Now for the second step, we multiply the numerator and denominator just like the one we are doing earlier. So we have 11 over 3 times 19 over 11. We will do the same thing. For instance, both numerator and denominator have a similar factor, 11. This means that we can cancel the 11 here. As you can see, there is an 11. There's an 11 over there. Then there's another 11 on the denominator. This can be canceled. Eleven divided by eleven results in one. So we have one third times nineteen over one. Is it then we will multiply these two just like the one we used to earlier? So we have one third times nineteen over one is equal to one times nineteen all over three times one. This gives us 19 over 3. We will evaluate and simplify if it is necessary. 
19 over 3 is our answer. Now, oops. Now, after this, we will we would like you to answer some problems. Then you will place your answers on the comment section below. Are you ready? Three, two, one. That's it. Time's up for the first problem. Did you get it right? Now let's have the other prop the other two problems. So our given for this problem is four and one halves times two and two thirds. Can you answer this one using the lectures we have discussed earlier? Time is up. So we have this second problem. Now for the last problem. The problem is a kid takes two sevenths of a 700 gram steak. How many grams of steak did he get? This is a word problem in multiplication. Alright, time is up and that's it for the last problem. So let's have a recap of the problems we gave earlier. The first problem has an answer of 35 over 140, which is 1 fourth when simplified. So our answer must be simplified. So the correct answer is 1 fourth. For the next problem, our answer is 72 over 6, which is 12. And lastly, we have... 700 times 2 sevenths is 200 grams. Did you get the correct answer? Now let's proceed with the raffle time. So while we're having the raffle, we need to recall these. First, translate mixed numbers to improper fractions if necessary. Number two, multiply the numerators, cancel out factors if possible. And lastly, evaluate, then reduce to lowest terms and simplify.
All right. So All right. thank you so much, Dwight, for the first part of your presentation. And just like what Dwight said, we're going to do now the first raffle draw from our live audience. That was a great presentation, Teacher Anne. Yes, that's right. It's so well explained. And so before we uh, go into the, our explain. yes, magagaling ang ating mga collaborator, yeah. ay mga ating mga presenters. Yes, mm -hmm. and I think uh, uh, Sir Reagan is also ready, ready now to present to us her tambiolo yes. ng kapalaran. <laughs> hey, Samuel, baka tayo, <laughs> maano. But before we are going yeah. into that one, yeah. Ano, wala ko pala. <laughs> wala ka? Okay. We are going to acknowledge first the rest of our viewers. We would yes, like right, friend, I saw one from uh what's from it? South, South Africa. Africa. Yeah. It is here yeah. in Milambo. So welcome, uh so South welcome. Africa. Yeah, South Africa. Uh Christian J. Valdez, I didn't yeah. say any share vibes, and also Ray uh, uh book and Francis Clarito uh That's shared right. this. Yeah. Uh, hello to Mark Jun Rosales Gamo, Ralph Marvin Narvades, Jeremy Russell Sacram, uh, Sa Saracan Lao, sorry. Then Alice German is watching, Roxy. Oh, is you watching right now? <laughs> and AG sent us 100 stars. Thank you, uh, Thank AG. you so much again, AG. So and keep uh, sharing this, Teacher Anne. We would like to remind our viewers, keep sharing this live streams para mas parami pa tayong... Pwedeng manalo ng 500 pesos. And right now, Sir Reagan is ready now with the pinwheel. That's right. And we're going to draw now the first name. Who will win 500 pesos? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sir Reagan, go ahead. Spin the wheel. So, sinashuffle muna ni Sir Reagan yung... Yeah, is Mr. Uh, uh, Sir Reagan can announce the winner? Can you announce Mr. Reagan? Sir Reagan? Uh, minsan busy si Sir Reagan eh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we'll find out who will win the first 500 pesos. We would like also to remind our live viewers, don't forget to share this in public so that you'll have your share beds with you. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have share beds with you, then you won't qualify in this raffle draw. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. That's the only requirement that you would like to ask from you. Whoa! Meron nang nanalo si Judeline. <laughs> Judeline Aguila. Okay, so you won 500 pesos, Miss Judeline Aguila. Swerte naman ang bata na to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sir Reagan. So that's from the side of Sir Reagan in the Philippines. By the way, both Sir Reagan and Charles Dwight, they are in the Philippines. And Teacher Anne and myself, of course, uh, we are live here in Toronto, Canada. Thank you so much again for watching. And Teacher Anne would like to, of course, thank our sponsors, supporters, especially sa season one natin. Mm -hmm. Napakarami nating sponsors doon sa season one natin. So maraming maraming salamat po. For this season two, again, what we're doing is live lectures. So live lectures yung mga ginagawa natin ngayon. And in this live lectures, live audience can have a chance to win 500 pesos by answering those live questions that our lecturers or presenter is giving us. So just you just have to comment your answer on the live uh, comment section, but make sure that you have a share badge with you. Kasi pag wala kang share badge, uh, hindi po nag yung share badge ko, sabi ni Christian J. Baldes. Yeah, yeah. In deep, maybe it's not in public. Yeah, you have to share it in public, uh, Christian, in public. Siya. So, kung nasa telepono yata kayo, I'm not so sure. You have to press share, and then I think write options, and then from there you will see public, something like that, and then mm -hmm. share. share. So, you have to make sure that it should be in public. Okay? Um, again, um, live audience, you have a chance to win 500 pesos by answering those problems. Mm -hmm. But after each chapter, like we are uh, in fractions, we are in the chapter of fractions. After this, next week, we'll have Isam Wang to present to us addition and subtraction of fractions. Mm -hmm. And the last live 
sessions that we're going to have on fractions. And after that, we're going to have yeah, quiz B. The quiz B. <laughs> so, yeah. so if you are interested, if you have friends, if you have kids, sons, daughter, na gustong sumali sa live quiz B natin, ito malaki yung price natin. Diba, teacher? Magkano yung pa-premium natin, teacher? It's so first is 1,500 pesos. If you wow. belong to a different, you came from another country, then we are going to convert that. Yes. The second will receive 700 pe uh, 50 pesos. And then the third will be 300 pesos. 500, teacher. Ah, mo, ah, I'm sorry, teacher. binawasan ko. <laughs> 500. I was not thinking right. <laughs> <laughs> so 1,500, 750, and 500. And that's actually the same prices that we gave in season one for our weekly international virtual mat quiz B. So this is still considered as uh, international virtual mat quiz B. So if you're interested, only that we are limiting this in grades level. So we mm -hmm. are accepting those in grade 8, eight below. below. Grade 8 below. Kaya kung may mga anak kayo, if you have kids, son, daughter, na grade 8 below, so encourage them to join our virtual mat quiz B. Ang maganda nito, teacher Ann, this is concentrated in one lesson. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that you won't be thinking, oh, it's so wide, it's so broad. No, this time it's only be on fractions. So, Ayan, Christian, yeah. mayroon ka ng tear buds. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Christian, Christian, you have it now. Yes. So we saw your so, tear buds. Tama, di ba, Teacher Ann? So concentrated sa, it's in this one, the first quiz B that we're going to have on this season two is all about fractions. fractions. It's all about fractions. Yes. Kaya you have a chance to win. Ano pang ginagawa nyo? Encourage na yung mga anak nyo, yes. yung mga kaibigan nyo, mga kakilala nyo to join us. Just send ask message. them to send us a message in our academy page. Mayroong messenger yung academy page natin. Just send a message there um, indicating your interest of joining our Quiz B. All right? So, Teacher Anne, I think we're now ready for our second part of our lecture. So, mm -hmm. we'll just wait for our presenter today to also get ready. Of course, no other than, let's welcome back Mr. Charles Dwight. Dwight. Yes. Hi, Charles. Nandiyan ka pa ba, Charles? Of course. Mukhang nawawala na si Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yeah, there you go. Okay. The okay, so take it away, Charles. All right. Now we have the last part of this lecture, which is all about division of fractions. Dividing fractions is almost the same as multiplication. However, it requires an extra step. Consider this given fractions which we are to divide. 7 eighths divided by 3 fourths. Step 1 is just like the step 1 of multiplication. We change the mixed fractions to improper fractions if necessary. As we can see, 7 eighths is not a mixed fraction. 3 fourths is also not a mixed fraction. Do we need to change something here? Not. So basically, we are not changing anything in this case. So there will be no change, no step one for this one. We will proceed with the next step. Now for step two, we get the reciprocal of the divisor. So what is the reciprocal of a divisor? Our divisor here is three fourths. This is the one that we are used we are using to divide the dividend, which is 7 over 8. Dividend is the first term. Divisor is the second term. And the second term in this division is 3 fourths. To get the reciprocal of 3 fourths, we need to switch the positions of the numerator and the denominator. So 3 and 4 will be swapped, thus giving us four turns and after we 
got the reciprocal, we will change the sign, the division sign, into multiplication sign. So, from three-fourths, it became four-thirds, and from division, it became multiplication. So, we, we did two things here. First, get the reciprocal, and the other is change the sign to multiplication. Now, for step three, we perform our, we perform our normal multiplication process. Multiply the numerator and denominator and cancel factors if necessary. So we have here 7 over 8 times 4 thirds. As we can see, we can cancel 4 from the numerator and the denominator. Canceling 4 for both sides, for both the numerator and denominator rather, we have 4 divided by 4, which is 1, and... 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we are left with 7 times 1 all over 2 times 3. Can you see what canceling can do? Okay. The reason why we cancel terms in fractions is because it would be easier for us to multiply if we remove the unnecessary factors since most of the time, it requires us to have the answer in the simplest form. Kaya tayo nagka-cancel. So, yung 4, nagiging 1. Mas madali na siyang i-multiply. Yung 8, nagiging 2. Mas madali na siyang i-multiply. Pwede lang po mag-cancel kapag may common factor. For instance, this 4 shares common factors with 8. And the greatest common factor is 4. So we divide both sides by 4 para mas madali natin may multiply. So we have 7 times 1 all over 2 times 3. And lastly, we have step 4. Evaluate, then simplify if necessary. So we see here, 7 times 1 all over 2 times 3 is equal to 7 over 6. Did you get? Is everything clear? If so, we will proceed on with the division problems. And now, here's another, here is your another shot to be included in the raffle. So, solve each of the problems here in the comment section. So, our first given is 7 over 15 divided by 14 over 25. Time is up, so we have this division problem as our answer. Uh, as our next question, we have this. Eight and one-thirds divided by one and two-sevenths. So here's our problem for the second. Here's our second division problem, rather. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. Now, let us go back to the first problem. 
the answer for this first problem, we have 7, 7 over 15 divided by 14 over 25 is 5, 6. The answer must be 5, 6. The other problem has an answer of 175 over 27. So if you got both of these problems correct, you will get two entries. And now it's the final raffle time. Yes. Now, um, yes, go ahead, Charles. Um, so let's recall to divide fractions. Translate mixed numbers to improper fractions, if necessary. Number two, find the reciprocal of the divisor. And no number three, multiply the numerators and denominators of each fraction. Cancel out factors if possible. And lastly, evaluate, then reduce to lowest terms and simplify if necessary. So that is it for dividing fractions. As we can see, we need to learn multiplication first before we learn division which means that these two are connected concepts that we need to study while studying fractions. Since this is a common topic wherein students get stumped because they cannot easily manage to solve the problem due to its difficulty. But in fact, this is actually easy and manageable and just like multiplying integers, this is manageable. Right. Thank you so much, Charles. So uh, you're definitely correct with that statement. We know that this is very common and yet most students are having difficulties working on fraction teacher and diba. Mm -hmm. So that's why we decided to really give this extra uh, live uh, lecture for the sake of our kids and pwede na rin sa mga not kids. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we, we, we need to refresh basic uh, basic concepts because yeah. uh, it's very important to know, uh, especially when you are when you are you are fond of me uh, of measuring, right? Yes. Sometimes you don't even well, know. Not, what to not. <laughs> Measure is not always exact. Measurement yeah. is not always exact. So you have to remember that. Kaya mayroon tayong fractions and decimals. Di ba, mm -hmm. Teacher Anne? Mm -hmm. That's why we would like to encourage yung mga nanunood. Ask your kids. Tell your kids. Encourage your kids or your friends to watch this one. Because mm -hmm. this is a free lesson that you can mm -hmm. get only here in Assistant and German Academy with all of this uh, smart collaborators that we have. So sa susunod, meron tayong isa pa, magaling din, at international pa, mm -hmm. na magaling magtagalog. Yung champion <laughs> Walang iba, kundi yung champion natin ng season 1 natin, di ba, mm -hmm. Teacher Anne? Yes. Kaya, abangan nyo yan. Mm -hmm. So tell your friends, encourage your friend to watch. But anyway, I think Sir Reagan now is ready for the second winner of 500 pesos. Mukhang dumami siya. Diba? Mm -hmm. Yo, so Regan, shuffle mo na yung mga names na yan para malaman na natin kung sino yung second winner natin. Yeah. Okay. I would like to say hello to my brother, Lito the Guru, and uh, the son, Nino the Guru. Okay. Oha! Who is our winner now? Okay. Are... Mm -hmm. So Regan. Kita mo yung taga raffle natin sa pil nasa Pilipinas. <laughs> <laughs> and for those who cannot uh, Yeah, those who cannot watch us live, you can watch this again, the replay of this one. That's right, Tichan, you are very right in that. And by the way, oh, meron ng nanalo yung sinasabi ng nanay niya na swerte Pero talaga yung anak ko na yan. Ito yung patunay na swerte talaga. <laughs> At sa wakas hindi na na-mix up yung pangalan niya. Walang iba, kundi si Mr. Ralph Marvin Narvades. No doubt, really, Ralph. Talagang walang duda. Maswerte ka na. <laughs> Ralph, huwag mong kakalimutan magpadala ka ng numbers para sa loto. Ha? I just need seven numbers. 
<laughs> yeah, we got we gonna yeah we gonna bet it using our academy. Who knows we'll be able to? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sabi ni Ralph, kilala talaga ako ng roleta na ni Sir Regan. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but Ralph, yung pakiusap ko lang, seven numbers, 150, 150. Mm -hmm. 150 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alagaan natin. Ahalahati yan na lang kita, uh, Ralph. So Ralph, congratulations, you know what to do. And Sir Regan, thank you so much for your help today. And of course, siyempre, malaking salamat, napakalaking salamat, pasasalamat pala natin, that's the correct term. Napakalaking pasasalamat natin. Walang iba kundi kay... Charles Dwight Pilias. I'm not sure if uh, Charles still want to say something before uh, we let him go. But anyway, thank you so much to all those who watch for this live stream today. And next time, next Saturday, Teacher Anne, mayro na naman tayong isa. Okay, mm -hmm. so si Charles, may sasabihin pa. Yes, Charles, go ahead, Charles, take it away. Hello po. So, mamaya pong 12 p.m. ng... August 15 will be the comeback of my personal pages. Dalawa po sila, Sedi Smartverse and Luxpap. So I advise you to like and subscribe these pages along with my other group pages such as MMB, Math Major B Light, STEM Engine, then Daily Mathematics, and World of Math 2. So, and I will give shout outs to my friends in STEM Engine and Online Math World. Shout out sa inyong lahat. Hindi ko na kayo isa-isahin. So, yun. Stay safe, everyone. I hope you learned something. And this is Sedi signing off. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Charles Dwight Pilias. Yeah. So, don't forget to follow and subscribe to his YouTube channel. So, hanapin nyo lang uh, Sedi's Math Verse. All right? And of course, si uh, Sir Reagan, Junisio, mayroon din yun. Si Judilin. Sabi ko kay Judeline, I think Judeline today is your day. In mm -hmm. na, na scholar ka, nanalo ka pa. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations to Judeline and of course Ralph Marvin Navarez for winning today. Okay? Guys, so wag niyo kakalimutan, meron pa tayo every Saturday, live tayo every Saturday, 8 o'clock in the evening there in the Philippines and that is 8 o'clock in the morning here in Toronto and in the US. Okay? So Teacher Ann, paalam na tayo. Yeah. Yes, uh, before I would say uh, uh, our my departing words is it's, uh, uh, say hello to Anupon Das. Uh, he says he's late, so maybe we can uh, we can also ask him to contribute something in here. Yeah, right that's here. right. So Anupom, uh, he's uh, from Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. So Anupom, if you want to uh, join us, just let us know, and we'll give you spot in our live show. Okay, go ahead, teacher Anne. Yes, and uh, that's it for for today and hope to see you next week keep uh, watching our videos and our replay uh, live shows uh, for your support thank you thank you and see you next saturday right thank you so much again guys for watching so this is mr hector german saying just marvelous boss and boss and we'll see you next saturday wag nyong kakalimutan next saturday uh, that would be Mr. Isam Wam uh, turn to do the presentation. So, kaya wag kayong mawawala. Diba, Tishan? Yes. Okay. Yes. Bye, guys. See you next time. Are you ready, ready, assistant and German Academy Season 2 live show? It's time, it's time to invite your friends and your family. Come and participate in our math online class and have a chance to win big prizes. You will also learn how to solve math problems easily. Because here in Assistant and German Academy, Math Life, math life must go on. Must go on. Go on.